Hello everybody! Welcome to Flash Quest Episode 2. First up on the chopping block in this episode is I Wanna Win on Fred. This one is a minigame collection, and not a bad one at that. It utilizes the pointer functionality of the cursor and right-clicking on stuff. Obviously, from this footage, you can tell that it's pretty hard in the later levels, but the early game is pretty straightforward, and the difficulty progression is nice. <coughs> I really want to win, and I want to win. So the next game we're going to be taking a look at is, honestly, one that I cannot imagine I didn't add to episode 1. Electric Man! <clears throat> this game is on frame, and it's honestly the one I played the most of. You fight in the Tournament of Voltagen to become the top stick figure in the land. You can perform punches, kicks, knock people over, etc. There are also slow motion attacks which drain your battery points. This game has stellar graphics, and there are lots of secrets to find. For instance, there's a hidden fourth slow motion attack, the pullover throw, which uh, isn't mentioned anywhere in the controls menu or tutorial. The only reason I know it exists is from finding it. Simply phenomenal. Let's talk about Typing Agent for a moment. I had to make a fake account for myself just to play these, and it took me two whole days just to get the 1,200 experience points required to unlock them. But anyway, here's a new game, Mind Type. You have to type words and phrases in order to pull in chunks of gold, blocks with gold in them, skulls and fossils, diamonds, etc. This game was really fun, and it's honestly pretty captivating getting all that gold. Once you finish a stage with enough gold, you can continue on to the next stage, and between stages, you can buy stuff at the store. The stuff they buy is like a laser sight, or another gold cart, which doubles the amount of gold you can have. Just a pretty cool game in general. And today's final game is Multiplayer Warship. This is an online version of the classic Battleship board game, and honestly, the online works really well. Although, I do have to confess, I was playing against a robot here, but when I played against an actual online opponent back in the computer lab at school, the online didn't actually add that much more lag. So, you have to type words or in order to take spaces, and then, once the space is captured, it can either be a hit or a miss. That's just up to luck. You can place your ships in strategic places to try and make sure the other person doesn't hit your ships and that you hit the opponent's ships. I mean, it's classic. It's Battleship. But online. 